in the air. Should be out. They're going for it. Oh, go for it, go for it. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Do they let their bowlers down? And that's Hayden. Taylor, they didn't want it, did they? Victoria or Taylor were looking at each other at the end. Taylor made a meal of it. Well, hey, uh, Taylor was looking at uh, the other fieldsman, but Vittori backed off and, and left it to Taylor early enough for him to, uh, to take the catch. You can see here, Taylor has a bit of a look over there. He looks over, now he decides it's his. So he really should have taken it through the hands. Smoky, glary sky that that white ball's coming out of. You better be real secure in where you've positioned yourself, and he wasn't. He gets this one away for four, and that's what happens, Matthew Hayden. The ball well, he feels them the opportunities. We said before we started here that they normally feel very well, New Zealand. Sort of feel that the luck has run out now. now. He's got a bit of luck there too, has Matthew Hayden. Maybe the gods have come to smile on him today. That's Matthew Hayden. Strong and dominant. Yeah, once again it's to that leg side. This time advancing at the bowler, using the angle in towards the stumps to work the ball to the leg side. And that's where he seems to be at his strongest at the moment. As Michael Slater says, when that bottom hand comes in is when he's looking at his best. Oh. Well, he, uh, he was in that area. And that's gone for four. Well, it's been ten overs since we've seen one of those. Oh, and that's into the gap, and this is a pretty fast outfield, mind you, it's running into the wind. It's four. Yes, another one. So it's uh, it's really a, an innings which is scattered. Well, certainly the shots are scattered between good shots and then uh, a few bad ones. Could be four. Brings up 50 for Matthew Hayden. Worked very, very hard. Not his best, but... A very good one from his point of view and the teams. <laughs> New Zealand are finding it very hard to applaud him. And he's given a man a couple of lives when he's having a run time of it. You just uh, keep yourself to yourself. That's in many ways the best stroke that Hayden's played. It's the one that he tried to hit least hard. Here he goes. Good straight hit. That's Matthew Hayden at his best. Hit it as straight as a dime. Well, look out, everyone. Hayden's back. But time in the middle, and now successful time in the middle, he's starting to broaden his shots again. Oh, he's got that one through the field, and uh, it will go for four as well. So slowly but surely, those uh, runs keep coming for Hayden. Oh, and uh, he's hit that one straight there, and he's dropped it as well. He's just come on for Gillespie. It went, uh, it went quite fast, mind you. It actually went like a rocket. Yes, it was that premeditated slog sweep that we see Hayden play, and hit it right out of the middle. And it was awkward height for Hamish Marshall, who's just come onto the field. One of those ones around about chest height. And the mid wicket. So he too wants to go offside and does so very successfully. He the ball right at the top of its bounce. It's very clever batting from Matthew Hayden. He knows what Jacob Oram's length is, just short of a length. With his height, there's always going to be a bit of bounce. So there's opportunities for the horizontal bat shot. That's also safe and also four. Some days you have it, and some days you don't. And this looks like Matty Hayden's day. Catch it! And it was very much a Steve War saying, the harder I train, the luckier I get. He's one shy of an ODI 100. Wow, how he's been able to uh, ride his luck, but stay concentrating the whole way. It's an admirable performance. 99 to Matthew Hayden. 
He's got it. Matthew Hayden has 100. And this will be some sort of a celebration. just turn into a show. 16 from the over, it's one for 210. It's just a flay. I mean, really, this kind of license, it's almost like festival cricket here. It's as if the loss of a wicket is irrelevant. Oh, beware the delayed power play on a good pitch against high-class players and such strong, strong hitters of the ball. No problem there either. Almost the best of them. Almost maximum. What a time for Matthew Hayden. What a change in Matthew Hayden. Changing the angle now to make it more difficult for him to smash through the offside. Great bowling. Vittori wins the little battle. What a class act. His first wicket of the day. He's deserved more. Hayden's fine performance comes to an end. Undone by a quality opponent. But that has been a magnificent comeback by Matthew Hayden. 117 from just 111 balls, and the Wacker stands to say thank you. What great entertainment.